Hi, I'm Kate Aizan from Bioremediation Research Group of Claret Research Team. Together with me are Gail Castro, Thea Lustica, Nika Senyo, Aubrey Tubo, and Daniel Hernandez. We'll be sharing with you a study on reverse olive cropping using Cana Generalis phytoremediation for slash burn land rehabilitation. This study is a product of Trinago Research Project 2021 with our mentors Daniel Hernandez, Dr. Yevdula of Livanes, Japan, Sir Ronrik Ariata of Livanes, Philippines, and Dr. Muhammad Chazeli Zayin of University Putra, Malaysia. To begin our discussion, our team centralized on Malaysia's palm oil industry or all palm industry. Our team then discovered one of the problems that come with this. That would be the out of control blazes and the presence of haze that this um, industry holds most of the blame off. Now, one of the contributing factors in the decline of all quality is the traditional practice of slash burn technique. Basically, this technique clears land for cultivation of palm trees. Farmers are afflicted in abandoning this practice due to it being ex um, cheap and expeditious compared to manual cultivation, cultivation methods that are time-consuming and costly. Now, our proposed planting system, the reverse alley cropping using Cana Generalis Pytermagation, aims to be a cheap yet eco-friendly solution that will not only be effective in rehabilitating slash burn lands based on the standard soil parameters, but would also serve as fertilizer to balance the NPK levels of the soil. Here are our research questions. One, is there an improvement of salt quality using reversed alley cropping system using Cana Generalis phytoremediation? Two, is there a difference in the nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium residue of all palm slash burn lands using Cana Generalis phytoremediation? Now, our next speaker will be discussing our methods of research. So hi, I'm Aubrey Andy Tsubo from the Biomediation Group of Claret Research Team's Trinago Research Project 2021. This study was conducted using the pre-test and post-sex experimental design with the use of quantitative and qualitative approach. The experiment was held at two sites. We have Site A in Claret's Club Zamboanga City and Site B in Kuraan Zamboanga City, specifically at the MND Oil Palm Plantation area. So we started doing our research ideation at around June to July and settled with the phytoremediation process of burnt land using Cana Generalis to solve the soil erosion adversity caused by this traditional agricultural practice in palm oil plantations. So by the time August arrived, we collected several Cana Generalis plants from Calabasacur and Zamboanga and cultivated it in another side of Claret before planting it in the burnt land. So after that, we performed the process of slash burn simulation by burning a specific, er specific area of land in claret using papers, then collected soil samples to determine their soil characteristics, such as the type of soil through in situ and ex situ analysis. Around November, this is where we finally planted the Cana Generalist plants through a reverse alley cropping pattern, wherein our plant is planted between two okras to prove the effectivity of the bioremediation process of the Cana Generalis species. And then we sent plant and soil samples to the Department of Agriculture for plant identification and laboratory analysis. After receiving the results, we were able to interpret the data based on the NPK results of the soil before and during phytoremediation. The results, however, will be discussed later on. Thank you, Kate and Obi. As what we have mentioned in the research methodology, all of the experimental samples were delivered to the laboratories of the Department of Agriculture's Bureau of Plant Industry, particularly the National Plant Quarantine Services, and the Bureau of Source or the Regional Source Laboratory to determine the experimental parameters and analyze it using the NPK levels or organic carbon, organic matter, and the pH. These parameters are used to determine the effectiveness of using Cana Generalis phytoremediation to rehabilitate slash and burn lands. Now, based on the analysis and identification of the Bureau of Plant Industry, it shows that the plant sample that was delivered 
is a canna generalis, which is commonly known as canna lily, with a green color, in particularly on the stem part and the leaves. And it has a deep yellow flower with splashes of red orange. And the average diameter of the stem was measured to be 1.49 centimeters. And the average length of the stem that is submitted in the laboratory is around 184 centimeters. And the average age of the particular plant sample was not determined due to some certain factors that needs to be considered in identifying the age of a plant specimen. Now, all of the soil samples used in this particular study was delivered to the regional soils laboratory. And we have two experimental sites, as we have mentioned before. We have site A from the palm oil plantation or the MND palm oil plantation located at Calabasa, Puruan, Zamboanga City, which has a, a, soil uh, a loam type of soil. And the texture is around, it's more on gritty soil, soil texture with the presence of oil palm waste, empty fruit bunches fibers in its, in, on the ground upon extracting or upon getting the soil sample. And using the parameters of organic carbon, organic matter, and pK levels, we were able to determine the effectiveness of the Cana generalis phytoremediation to rehabilitate the slash and burn lands because we believe that uh, according to the owner of the, uh, of the palm oil plantation, it all began using, of course, the term kaingin or the slash and burn technique to rehabilitate the, uh, the land in this particular area. And it shows that the organic carbon in the pre-test and the post-test has greater difference or significant difference because in the post-test, it was decreased from 5.08% organic carbon down to 3.69% organic carbon. And at the same time, the organic matter has also shown a significant decrease in the level of organic matter from 8.74% to 3.69%. The same is true is the same is true with the nitrogen levels available phosphorus and potassium content of the soil samples of experimental site A, wherein it shows that there is a significant decrease of the NPK levels, particularly nitrogen and the potassium level, wherein it shows that uh, from 0.4% nitrogen, it only contains 0.32% of nit nitrogen upon using a, a one month long monitoring of the of the soils of the soil parameters using Cana generalis phytoremediation. Well, on the other hand, the potassium is around 860.1 per uh, potassium content or parts per million, and it shows that you uh, upon uh, using one month long Cana generalis phytoremediation, it shows that there are only around 392 percent, uh, 392.16 parts per million of uh, available potassium in the soil sample. Of course, it's also, it has been also shown that in the particular, in this particular process is that the, the control samples, of course, was, there's also a change in the parameters of the control sample. Some of it is increased or decreasing, some of it are increasing because we need also to determine or we need also to consider the environmental factor particularly the, the weathering system or the climate system in a certain area. Because upon the duration of the, of the project, exper exper uh, experimentally, uh, we are experiencing a change in the weathering system or the change in the climate uh, on the time process. It also shows that the, in the experimental site B, which is located at Glasgow, Zumbuanga City, it shows that the soil type in the microplantation where we try to simulate the slash and burn technique and planting it with, uh, with, with okra and use uh, cana generalis as a bioremediation process to rehabilitate the level of nitrogen, particularly on the selected microplantation. And it shows that the soil type is around loam type of soil and it is gritty in nature or the texture of the soil is around gritty. And based on the, the same parameters used in experimental site A, it shows that uh, there's also a, a, a significant decrease or somehow it decreased the level of, of organic carbon and organic matter from 1.49% of organic carbon. It shows that after using Cana generalis phytoremediation, it has or it yielded into 1.33% of organic carbon. And for the organic matter, it shows that uh, from 83 organic matter percent, it shows that after a month long of using a kind of generalized phytoremediation, it shows or it yielded into 
to around 2% of organic matter. The same parameter was also used using the NPK levels and it also shows that there is a significant decrease in the NPK levels for this particular uh, experimental site wherein from 0 0.41 nitrogen percent, it only shows that after using Kana generalis in the one month na experimental process, it yielded into 0.11 nitrogen percent. And the available phosphorus and the potassium content also shows uh, showed a significant decrease in the, its level, particularly on the on the phosphorus content, where in from zero uh, from 48.22 parts per million, it yielded to 17.13 parts per million after using Kana generalis as a bioremediation agent to decrease the nitrogen levels and or to rehabilitate the slush and burn land after simulating it. And of course, the potassium content, uh, it shows here that there is an increase of the potassium content maybe uh, because of some other factors that we were able to consider also, such as the weathering system that is happening or that uh, we experience in this in the experimental process. And from this particular conclusion of our particular result, we were able to see that from the, uh, when we mix the, the weathering system and the, the use of bioremediating agent, such as the Cana generalis, it shows that it will increase the, pota uh, the potassium content from 147.17 parts per million to 191.23 parts per million. And based on these results, we were a based on these results, we were able to conclude that uh, based on the results of the experimental site A at Calabasa Puruan, both control experimental uh, experimental results or experimental variables have shown a decrease, a significant decrease in the NPK levels. Therefore, this particular plant, proposed planting system using reverse alley cropping via uh, Kana generalized phytoremediation or CGP is a good process, okay? a good process of rehabilitating uh, slash and burn lines, even though this particular land has been uh, slash and burned for a very long time already. And still it maintains the nitrogen level that is needed for a good production of palm oil, particularly. And based on the results of the experimental sites of experimental site B, particularly the experimental uh, experimental variable of this particular experimental site, wherein it shows a decrease of the, of the NPK levels, wherein we can clearly conclude or we can clearly say that the if we try, if we use kind of generalized phytoremediation or reverse alitrapping CGP in this particular sense as a planting system, it is also effective in neutralizing soil parameters, especially when the land is freshly or newly, uh, newly cultivated using the slash and burn technique. Now, these particular experimental results would all also show or benefit majority of the farmers who are practicing slash and burn technique. And based on this, uh, based on this particular assumptions that uh, previously in our introduction is that the use of the reverse alley cropping uh, kind of generalized phytoremediation will yield to a more cheaper solution on how to rehabilitate slash and burn lands. Majority because of the most majority of the farmers are using kainin or the slash and burn technique as a immediate solution. But on the long term, uh, after a few years, after uh, a long uh, period of time, the, the land will be reverting back to its original state. And the increase of the nitrogen levels due to the, due to the presence of carbon, uh, carbon carbonization, due to the process of burning, the nitrogen level will, will increase after using such fertilizers and other factors that needs to be considered in planting. But also using this particular uh, planting system, on the reverse alley cropping via CGP, it will also help these farmers to maintain the, the, the soil parameters, to maintain the fertility of the parameters because this particular process, bioremediation process, will also serve as a fertilizing agent aside from being a bioremediating agent to maintain the integrity of the soil and to maintain the fertility and the integrity of the crops that is being planted in a certain area. Thank you very much for listening. This has been Daniel Hernandez, the project leader of Claret Research Team and the lead mentor of the Sunago Research Project 2021 of Claret's Club Zamboanga City, together with Ms. Aubrey Antubo, Herlin Pitt Alizon, Ms. Gil Castro, Nick Casenio, and Thea Lustica, saying, imagine, innovate, and inspire. Thank you very much for listening and have a great day.